The iPhone 12 offers an attractive flat edge design, an OLED display, a great camera, 5G, and the power of the A14 Bionic chipset, but is it still good enough for you to consider it? Well, let's take a look. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the iPhone 12, so let's get to a point. The design of the iPhone 12 remains a standout feature. It blends elegance with durability. The sleek glass back and flat edge aluminum frame make this phone still feel premium. And one of my first thoughts when I saw it for the first time back in 2020 was that it reminded me so much of the iPhone 5, which to me is one of the best iPhones ever made. Despite the flat edges, it's still comfortable to hold and the rear glass looks great, but it's a fingerprint magnet. But most people will put a case in the phone anyway, so we're good. So yeah, the iPhone 12 still looks and feels great. The Super Retina XDR display continues to impress with vibrant colors, deep blacks, and HDR support. It lacks a 120Hz refresh rate, and to some people this is a big deal, but I just don't care. iOS already feels smooth and fast natively, and this is a lower cost phone, so it isn't a surprise to see a standard refresh rate. And it's one of those features that you don't know you're missing until you have it. But the display is still fantastic. It's bright, color accurate, and, and a great looking OLED display. And it remains crisp and enjoyable for media consumption and daily use. The iPhone 12 comes with the A14 Bionic chip, and it's a remarkable blend of power and energy efficiency, and it provides a swift and responsive performance. The A14 Bionic ensures that everyday tasks and demanding applications run smoothly. Whether you're multitasking, gaming, or running resource-intensive applications, the iPhone 12 still delivers a seamless and responsive experience. The iPhone 12's performance in day-to-day -day usage is nothing short of impressive. Apps launch swiftly and transitions between tasks are seamless. The A14 Bionic not only elevates the device's raw processing power, but also contributes to the device's energy efficiency. This results in a smartphone that not only performs really well, but also manages battery life effectively. The iPhone 12 features a dual camera system, including a 12 megapixel wide and ultra wide lens. These lenses equipped with advanced sensors and optics capture stunning details and vibrant colors. The night mode and deep fusion technologies enhance low light photography and improve overall image processing, so you can expect the iPhone 12 to continue delivering impressive results in good or in challenging lighting conditions. Many of those software enhancements also come to the ultra-wide camera, and so its quality is also improved over the previous generation. However, it is still a fundamentally worse sensor than the main camera sensor. It's still pretty good, but it's just not as good as the main camera. The iPhone 12 supports 4K Dolby Vision HDR video recording and optical image stabilization, and it provides users with the ability to shoot cinematic quality videos. And the video capabilities of the iPhone 12 remain a standout feature even today. So for those who prioritize highest video recording on their smartphones, this one's pretty good. The dual camera system may lack some of the newer features found in more recent models, but it still produces impressive results. Daylight shots capture vibrant details and night mode enhances low light photography. The absence of LiDAR may affect certain AR applications, but for most users that makes absolutely no difference. So to summarize, the iPhone 12's camera with its advanced features and computational photography capabilities likely remains a strong contender in the smartphone landscape today. The battery life of the iPhone 12 remains not the best, maybe not even good, even with the ultra-efficient A14 Bionic chip. And I didn't even use 5G as much because of limited 5G coverage in my area, so even with 4G, the battery life still suffered. I have constantly found myself needing to recharge through the day, and honestly, not very often this phone got me through an entire day. Also, this one is the first generation of iPhone that was compatible with MagSafe, so it might be a good idea to get a battery pack or keep your charger close so you don't end up with a dead phone in the middle of the day. The iPhone 12 holds its ground as a solid choice for many users. If you prioritize a classic design, great performance, and a great camera system without needing the latest cutting edge features, the iPhone 12 remains a compelling option. However, if you desire more recent features and plan to keep your device for several years, it might be worth considering a more recent model like the iPhone 13 or 14. But overall, the iPhone 12 being this good years after it was launched is a testament to Apple's ability to create enduring devices. 
Its combination of design, display, performance, and camera capabilities make it a viable choice for those seeking a balance between features and value because, well, it still looks and feels reasoned. And on that note, it's time for me to go. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. And if you subscribe, that would be so very cool. Anyway, I hope that you guys are all doing great. And I'll see you on the next one.